So we're here at the Montreal show at the OS booth. Uh, we have Mike, the founder here. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, thank you for thank you for allowing us to do this interview. First of all, and um, you have few beautiful amplifiers here. Um, can you tell me? I guess first of, first thing I want to know is like who who designed this? This is beautiful. Uh, thank uh, you first for coming and uh, visit us in our booth. Uh, Mostly of design I've done when I was young. Your, yourself? Was yeah, myself. So that's the, but behind me I have also a team of engineers. They work for me and we are the 50 people company. So uh, we have uh, 12 engineers. We have our SMT lines, production lines, assembling lines. And we are doing everything in house, which is an uh, uh, advantage. And we can we can actually control every single part of the process. And, and, and so you said uh, everything is done in-house. Where are you guys located? We are located in Serbia, in central Serbia, uh, the town called Kruševac. It's in, in the wonderful valley near the mountains and we have a beautiful river over there. Um, can you tell me about your amplifiers? They seem like they, you're using tube amplifiers, right? They're the tube amplifiers. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me about I guess your top of the line, um, Nirvana, was it? Top of the line, actually, top of the line is uh, Hedonia. Hedonia, yes. Hedonia, yeah. yeah. But uh, our, I can say that the, the second in our line is Nirvana, and it's so popular right now. People love it. Actually, I designed it because of uh, Hi-Fi Man Suswara. Then uh, Meze come out with Empyrean, and I simply love it. And then some Odes headphones, some others. And, and so on. So Nirvana is a really popular amp and people love it and just can can produce how much we can sell it. So it's, it's nice. I see. Yeah, I've, I've heard um, your he uh, headphone amplifiers before. They sound very nice. Can you tell me like, uh, what is the fundamental behind your amplifiers? What, what's your design goal? I tell you something. The, the tube amplifier uh, design is finished in the 60s. So many companies does not follow the roots and they do not use the right components. Uh, the special speciality of, of headphone amp, speciality of tube amps, are to design the good tube amps, you have to know how to design output transformer and power supply. The circles are available since 60s, so since 50s, 40s, so there is nothing new, too much new to discover. But if you use the right components, the premium components, and if you know how to design the output transformer, which is in-house design, and we are doing the in double C core and form, uh, formium, uh, formus, uh, uh, core, so to control the, 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 the sound is a copper and iron, that's it. So to design a tube amplifier is a, is a nightmare, to design a good tube amplifier is a double nightmare, and to design a good headphone amplifier is a scary thing. And because I, I love uh, portable so and, and, and personal stereo, so that's why I designed my HA2 first, first series a few years ago. And then some people ask me why you don't design the tube amplifier for headphones because we, we were well known for the two channel amps. So, and I designed it and then the, the show started. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you 100% on the fact that, you know, the uh, tube was really done in the 60s. The good, really great uh, you know, tube amplifiers, I still have some in my collection, um, were made in the 60s. And you know, after that, I just... <laughs> but I guess you're kind of revisiting that um, with your amplifiers, which is wonderful. Um, I think I know the answer to this question already, but just for the viewers, uh, why did you decide to use the EL34s um, as your tubes? <laughs> How I can say? Uh, I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of tube choices like KT88, you know, you could, you could have used 300Bs, you know, but you chose EL34s. I want to know why. There are so many music recorded on this tube. That's the reason. So they didn't use KT88, they didn't use 66, 6550. I have an apps with those tubes, but EL34 is simply musical tube and most of the music are recorded on that tube. So that's why. Yeah, I highly agree with that. I mean, I had uh, the Marantz AP. Wow. 
Yo, 34s. One of the most musical amplifiers I've ever had in my stereo system. So I have to agree with that. And your amplifier is just beautiful, beautiful. And I guess the bottom is the power supply as well. And you mentioned the power supply is always, always important as well. Uh, actually, besides the output transformers, power supply is the most important thing in a tube amp. And if you do it well, if you do it on the right way, you have the great sound. Otherwise, you will have a mess. So we decide to, to make separate power supply for our flagships. And uh, yeah, even in, those, in this small guy, we, will, we use separate power, linear power supply. So and in the future, Nirvana will, will come uh, without this wooden box uh, under. So we will have only the amp and power supply will be in metal box separate which is much easier to produce and, 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 and easier to, to put on the table. So that's it. So, so the metal boxes uh, that you mentioned, uh, is that more towards the price sensitive side? I guess you can get something like this for a lesser price if you don't use wood or something like that? No, it's a, it's a less headache for the power supply box. So it, it's much easier to, to produce metal box for power supply than, than actually in all of our wood, leather wood boxes, we have metal case inside metal cage so actually we have double uh, double enclosure inside what is the price point on this if I wanted to buy it today oh depend uh, it's uh, 8500 uh, Canadian I think here $8,500 Canadian I see I see and so I guess this is if you want to reach that Nirvana indefinitely you will reach Nirvana sound you will reach Nirvana with that amp so it comes with a uh, I guess Satisfaction <laughs> guarantee. <laughs> yeah, that was the idea. All right, all right, sounds good. So for any of you watching there, if you want to reach Nirvana, this is the amplifier to go to. I heard it. It was it's a very good amplifier. The name comes after after I designed it. So actually, one of uh, our employees, uh, when when he tested, it, he told me it's Nirvana sound, and I just put the name Nirvana because I like it, and it's it, it's really. Uh, shows you how it sounds so that's it so it's just complete bliss basically yeah. okay yeah, you, you have to try it you know, yes to try it. yes come on the shows we look, we'll participate expona rocky mountains in north america and we are going on can jams all around the world in singapore everywhere so and beside of nirvana which is really great time we have uh, some requests from from uh, from our our uh, customers that they need something they can place on the table and uh, have one stop by that the game over thing so uh, we decide to design this beauty it's a pure tube amp we call it Euterp Euterp in, in Greece means uh, one of nine muses muse for the music and delight and uh, if you see this shape is like the Greek harp so uh, it's a pure tube amp based on EL95 same as our H2SE we have DAC inside XMOS and ASA Sabre uh, 32 bits DSD whatever and we have preamp function so it, this is stand to so it's uh, everything you need over there it can run almost all headphones in the world it's a vat of uh, pure a class a in tubes class a in tubes okay so what's the damage on that mm, there is no damage <laughs> <laughs> what's the price point price point is uh, 1700 uh, us dollars a fair price a fair price yeah. um so i guess that's a new that's a new product correct yeah that's a new product and we already have the waiting list and uh, we we do a pre-sale um, for uh, for uh, something more than 2,000 Canadian, you can have DAC preamp, amp, and a stand in the same box. So, very good sound. I, I really like it. You can you can you can drive Hi-Fi Man easily, with the exception of Suswara, of course, and all the other uh, headphones. Uh, what is the, the advantage of this? You have se selection of uh, analog input, digital input, and high and low uh, impedance, and uh, you can place it near your PC in your in your office, and you can enjoy high-end music with this this small amp. 
And I, re I really like, um, I want to point out to my viewers that I really like the fact that you guys have the high and the low impedance because, um, you know, um, as some people have a very strong opinion about running planar magnetic headphones with tube amplifiers because of the impedance mismatch, you don't have that here because it's already done for you and you have the low and the high gain. So there you have it. You have the impedance match for tube amplifiers with planar magnetic headphones. I have to tell you something. I have a, I have a, a big collection of headphones. Yes. And one I really like, they are HD800. And uh, also I have the T1 from Biodynamic. And they are 600 ohms. That's why I, I, I decide to, 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 to design this for the high impedance. On all other our amplifiers, you can choose impedance from 32 up to 600. So you have several, you have switched with several impedance on it. So it's easy to match. Perfect, perfect. So. That sounds all promising. So thank you very much. Thank you.